Thought I'd do a video from down here with the Trig Point Cabernet Diamond Dust Vineyard. Uh, from here you can see the various shades of green that we have on the hill and that gives you an indication of, of vigor and, and, and the resulting flavor. So the first piece that you see there, the lighter green, they normally have a slightly smaller canopy but a slightly heavier crop and that's what we call the elegant wine and because it's out of balance a little bit in that direction I normally leave it about 140 days on the vine from flowering to harvest and when we bring it in it's always way more fruity than it is tannic so I can extract the heck out of it hot temperatures lots of pump overs etc because I know the wine will never be tannic the piece behind it is dark green you'll see that they have a smaller canopy and less crop relatively I picked that at about 130 days from bloom to harvest and when I bring that in I do not extract it very much I ferment it cooler short pump overs um, and um, less air during during that time as well and then after fermentation I warm the tank up to try and soften the tannins and get some tannin polymerization and that's what gives me the dense part of the of the blend and then over here we get the powerful part which is a combination of the two when I get all three wines made and lay on the bench uh, ready for the blend for trig point I've got the elegant component that provides the soft berry fruit flavors right up on the front of the tongue the powerful component which provides the flesh and the weight in the middle of the tongue and of course the dense component which provides the structure and the power anyway when I have all three things together I make the blend and bang that's what